Hearty fried wild greens, perfect to eat. I feel strong. Hello guys, let's play my whole ones over here. Looking back to the Legend of Zelda, but over the wild. I believe this is episode 38. In the last episode, we started over here. Well, actually we started over here, finished up a side quest. Then I showed off Wolf Link. Then we did the shrine, activated this tower, and then came over here. And again, if you've been watching uh, through, you probably already know that so I'm just wasting my breath. Which is quite sore right now, actually. <laughs> my throat kind of hurts. But yes, in this episode, we're going to start off by doing the Korok Trials. We're going to start off by doing this one. That is over here. Um, this way. But yeah, mind if I don't talk much this episode, guys? I don't mean... Wait. Wait, what? Okay. Well, the reason why I won't talk much, probably won't talk that much this episode, guys, is because my throat is actually kind of, kind of sore. I probably shouldn't record this episode because I'm probably going to throw my voice out. <clears throat> but it should be alright. That's odd. I'm not sure this is right. Nope. Nope, the clouds are going to get me. No, clouds, you won't get me. Okay then, I guess we'll go this way? Wait, where am I? Okay, some Endura shrooms. No, seriously, what the heck? I've never been this way before. Crap out of energy. Is that the way we're supposed to go? Ah, here we go. That blinking path. Okay, if memory serves me right, I do believe this trial is Trial of the Wood. Yep, Test of Wood. This one's not really that hard, but you'll need to be careful, though. There is a, there is actually a bit of a um, thing you have to do uh, to keep. You have to keep the sword, bow, and shield equipped the whole time. And if they break or you're unequipped, them you're out. Basically, you gotta get through this whole place without letting anything break. Not your sword, not your shield, or your bow. All you have to do is reach the shrine at the back area. Off you go. Test of the, the test of the, the test of wood. Three, two, one. It's a race. Get to the end. No, it's not. It's not a race. I do somewhat recommend you take your time with this. It's, it's, it's easy enough, and there are chests. So, but don't worry about the chests yet. <laughs> Because, believe it or not, you can actually enter this area again. Wait, is that still being chased? You can re-enter this place again once you're done with the test. So, and there won't be any tests after that point. So, there's no need to worry past that point. Right, uh, not like this. Oh, for the love of... I didn't get any speed at all. Oh, for God's sake! This is not that hard. Okay. <laughs> that was just an old crap. Now fly up here and go over here to the left. The keys are the most annoying things. But yes. Go up here! And follow this way through. Kill off that Octa Rock. Now, by coming through these trees, 
you'll skip somewhat of the swamp, which is also riddled with these things. Now, climb your way over here, jump and glide over to this. Once you're here, go away. Go over here, you'll notice there's the shrine. So, you just basically then just need to go to the shrine. Easy enough. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. And then we're done. Whee! Go! Congratulations, you passed the test of wood. Well done, hero man. Happiness awaits you at the shrine. Oh, yeah. If you ever want to do the trial again, just let me know. See ya! Test of wood, complete. Okay, this shrine done. Oh crap. Finally. Now the reason I got my frosting out is because you can actually use the, oh, the cryonis because you could do this. The reason I'm going back this way Gale is now ready. Because I remember right. There's a chest right there. Is it important? Mm, not really. It's just another sword. I just wanted to show that off. Okay, back to the shrine. <laughs> now to do the shrine. Which is a blessing. If memory serves me right, every single one of the shrines is a blessing. It's just that the trials for the shrines are done before the shrines, basically. So, they're all blessings. With this shrine done, we're going to now teleport back over here. Okay, first thing I want to do is... I I guess I'll keep this, but I'm going to take a picture of it. Not the best picture, but whatever. Um, it may be weak, but it can shoot three arrows at once, so once again... Solid, and I think we've. That's not what I was trying to draw. Yeah, we already got that. Okay, I guess I'm keeping all of them. <laughs> I was gonna drop the, get rid of the sword, but screw it. I'm actually gonna switch outfits. Let's go back to my Shika clothes. Reason why is because there's a quest. There's one of these missions that revolves you being sneaky. Somewhat so, and I will admit it's my least favorite of all the trials because it can be annoying if not done right. Okay, I don't think it's this one actually. I think this one's something else. Oh nope, it's this one. Going alone? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. You, Mr. Hero, right? You're gonna take the Korok trial? Yes. I knew it. I'd like to ask a favor then. Lil Oka okay, just now set off to do the Korok trial. Normally I go along too, but Oka okay, insists on going alone. And so I let Oka okay, go, but well, I'm getting worried. Should you please follow her without being seen, sure nothing bad happens. So, yes, our objective is to sneak around this Korok and make sure she stays safe. Noise does get her attention, so the Sheikah clothing really does help here. You don't need it, it's not that bad. But yeah, this is my least favourite of the trials, to be honest. It 
If she hears a noise as well, she will actually come and expect, come and uh, inspect it. Wow, I really could not get those words out of my mouth. I can't. No. Where'd she go? I've lost her. Oh, oh, thank God. There's two pathways here. Basically, the core, of the, the the actual trial for us is following her. She be, she's basically our guide, and our trial is to be sneaky. I think that's why they put these uh, nightshades here. So if you fail, you can make some stealth potions or stealth food, so you can be stealthier. You gotta be careful as well. Sometimes she goes in directions that are a little unpredictable. There's the bees! I thought she was coming back then for a second. Okay, come on, little Korok. Basically, go from tree to tree. I don't think it was us yet. I think a tr I think a branch fell there. Yeah, it did. Oh, it's this thing. This bit always catches me off guard. But I remember it though. I remember. See, she's gonna go inside this big log right here. Pretty flowers. As a little girl would do. Okay. So, we're at the halfway points. Let's wait for her to get inside that log. Okay, seriously? That just sounds weird. Um. Okay, she's in. Now, she's gonna go around. And she'll try to leave. But if memory says me right, something spooks her. And she'll come back. I used to think. Oh, thank God. I thought she noticed me. Okay, she's right there. We can still see her. Well, it's just a shadow. Okay. Man, it's getting foggy here. It's getting harder to see. This isn't so bad. I'm not scared one bit. At least she picks up the pace a little bit here. Okay, I'm a little scared. <laughs> okay, wolf dealt with. Hide here. Good, she's back on the path. Over there. Yes, this is a slow one. I don't really feel like speeding this up though, guys. You're in for the long haul with me. Yarr. I don't even know why I did that. Okay, this is where it can get a little bit tricky because the gr this grass here ends up covering her. You'll notice, as soon as she goes in that big bushy area, she starts to disappear and it's harder to see her and know what she's doing. There's the shrine! Even though the shrine's there, still don't let her see you. I think you gotta wait till you get to a certain point. If she sees you, you gotta start all over again. Come 
Come on, little Korok. I think we're good. Yay, I made it! I finished the trial! Huh? Who's that? Hey, aren't you that hero guy? You know, Mr. Hero? Well, I guess we're there the trial all by myself. Aren't I brave? Yeah, probably here for the shrine. Great deco tree, yada yada yada. <laughs> okay, Lost Pergrin is done. Mamma mia. And of course, a blessing. An ancient core. Very nice. Now well, let's get our spirit orb. With that shrine now done, we've just got one trial left. I'll meet you back over here. All right then, time for our next and final trial of the Korok Trials. Which will also be ending off the episode as well after that, because I've decided to actually have this episode just be the Korok Trials. So, and it's also a little bit easier in my voice than doing a full 30 minutes or longer video. So yeah, a little bit of a shorter video for this episode, but yeah, my throat is seriously on the way out, it's feeling sharp. <clears throat> but hey, we got three shrines done this episode. Well, we're going to have three, three shrines done this episode. So, so, not a bad bit of progress. Okay, we'll just work our way through this. Until we find this Korok here. A Hylian speak, uh, seeks to attempt the Korok trial. Is that even allowed? Who cares? Are you here to attempt my trial, uh, my Korok trial? Of course. Oh, really? You want to try it? Well, I guess it's worth asking after all. Let me tell you the tr about the trial. If you, all you need to do is keep going and not get lost in the mist. Easy, right? What's wrong? You don't look very excited. Don't worry. I got an, inc uh, uh, an encrypt little hint for you. The hungry trees will show the way, spy their iron to win the day. <laughs> Did I make it sound cool? Yeah, we hit the trial. This is the trial of second sight. Basically, you'll see there are like metal inside these trees. You can't take them out, or maybe you can, but they basically show you the way. What the? Oh, screw you, Billy! You deserve that. Okay. Oh, yep, there's another metal right over there. Let's see. Should be over this way. Yep, there's the one right there. There's the other one there. And this way. I don't even know why I did that. Okay, good. We're in a good spot here. I think we gotta fight. We fight. I remember. Yep, fight. Fight! 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 Oh. Barry! Fight! Fight! Ooh, a weapon we've not picked up. Uh, give me my camera. We've not picked it up, but I've apparently already took its picture. Okie day. Okay, next thing we need to do is actually on this little stone. Feed me the aged shield guarded by monsters eternal. My brother will repay your kindness. Pay you in kindness. Okay, basically, we need that shield, and you put it in its mouth. That's basically just a little side chest, I think. Ah, 
Maybe. I don't know, actually. Oh, right, yeah, I remember. No, I think it's needed. I think. Ember! You're actually gonna want this. And now, we're gonna go across. Uh, where's my Korok leaf? There it is. There's a Korok leaf down there in the water. There we go. Let's put that there. Please place my chest in my mouth. The Shield Eater's brother stole it from me. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, put that in there. <coughs> and try. Alrighty then, Trials of the Second Sight is now complete. Let's just be right, there are fish in this water. Some useful ones at that. I don't know exactly where they are though. I'm just gonna throw some bombs in there. Bombs away! Nothing. Bombs away! Nothing. Strange, I could have sworn there was. Uh, are these dragonflies I've not... Ah, oh, forget it then. Gain my blessing. As I said. Blessing! Yeah, giant ancient core. Yay! Gain my... My spirit orb of pillars. Okay, just the same old dilly dally. Well, I'll meet you back over here. Alrighty then, let's uh, go and finish up this mission, this side quest by going to talk to this Korok. Yes, I have. I know. Look, give you something nice. Yes. Big hearty truffles, three of them. I actually found one of these in the wilds before. Okay then. We are going to end off this episode, but first things first, let's go and claim our heart containers. Ah, we got ourselves a bunch of spirit orbs for some heart containers. Let's do this! Heart container! Heart container! Heart container! Oh wait, we got nothing left. <laughs> okay then. That will do for this episode guys. I hope you've all enjoyed. In the next episode, we're gonna start over here back at the wooden stable. Again. I'll have the map marked as usual, you know, the core oxide locations, mini boss locations, and what shrines are left. Memory says me right, there's not much left in the terms of shrines. I think there might be the one or two left, but there's a bunch of mini bosses and of course a ton of Korox, because we haven't collected any at all from this map area. So we got a fresh set of Korox seeds left to get. So, hope you guys will enjoy and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye! I guess I'm praying to you now. <laughs>